afternoon, Young and Dundas. This is Peter Parkour, Toronto Spider-Man. Finally back in the square. Um, so yeah, I've decided, despite things going on in between myself and the city, F it, I'm sick of waiting. I have my busking license issued for February 28th of 2018 until February 28th of 2022. On that note, I will be performing at Young and Dundas until 2022. And uh, I'm not gonna let the bylaws stop me anymore. This is where I belong. This is my bread and butter. I love Young and Dundas. I love Toronto. You can't push Spider-Man out. You can't get me to leave. It's not gonna happen. So today I have put my things exactly nine meters away from the intersection. As a busker, I am located nine meters away from the intersection. If I go any closer to the intersection, it will be as a pedestrian, not as a performer. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not gonna have any issue here. Again, I'm in a bright red and blue costume. I help people cross the road. I make sure they cross safely. Past that, I'm mobile. I'm not a preacher with a booth. I'm not a drummer with a drum kit who's occupying lots of space on the sidewalk. I'm not even a homeless person who's close to nine meters to the intersection with sleeping bags lying on the floor, literally blocking access for all the people passing by. And once again, the only reason why I bring up all these points, not that there's anything wrong with being a preacher or homeless or a musician like a drummer, but there should be equal enforcement on all people in Toronto, not just street performers. If you're in Young and Dundas Square and you're being told that you can't stand that close to the intersection because that is unsafe, then the bylaw should come down and do something about it. It shouldn't just be Spider-Man's problem. Anyway, this is Peter Parkour, Toronto Spidey. Well, I'm going to get back to work and have a good time. Uh, hope you guys also have an awesome day. Stay safe.